Omega-3s belong to a broader group of fats called polyunsaturated fats. They contain what are called double bonds, special connections that make them more flexible and interactive as fatty acids. They also make them more delicate and susceptible to damage. Some omega-3s are simpler than others. The simplest is called alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA for short. Like most vitamins, ALA is especially important in our diet because our bodies cannot make it from scratch. Fortunately for us, though, many commonly eaten plant foods contain ALA. Under the right conditions, our bodies can usually take ALA and transform it into other essential omega-3 fatty acids. These other omega-3s are more complicated than ALA is and contain more double bonds. The best studied are EPA, Ecosa pentaenoic acid and DHA, Dicosa hexaenoic acid. Our body's ability to make EPA and DHA from ALA partly depends on the other types of fats that we eat. One of those other fat types is omega-6 fat. Omega-6 fats are more plentiful in foods than omega-3 fats, and because they are more plentiful, we often find ourselves consuming much more of them. Yet high consumption of omega-6 fats can directly reduce the amount of ALA that our body is able to convert into EPA and DHA. A large amount of ALA is sometimes used strictly for energy purposes. As much as 85% of the dietary ALA is broken down to be used as an energy source. Our bodies can take ALA and use it to produce energy for our cells. Our immune, inflammatory, cardiovascular, and nervous systems simply cannot function correctly without sufficient amounts of EPA and DHA. When we don't get enough ALA, we don't have enough EPA and DHA, unless we've eaten foods that contain them. Foods that contain them are animal-derived foods like fish, and so vegans will not be getting EPA and DHA directly from food. So ALA has a critical role to play in the health of many body systems as the key building block for EPA and DHA. Proper function of our inflammatory system depends on the presence of messaging molecules called prostaglandins. Many of these prostaglandins are made directly from EPA and act upon platelets, endothelium, uterine, and mast cells, so they have a diverse hormone-like effect all throughout the body. Proper function of our nervous system, especially our brain, depends on the presence of DHA. In fact, our brain is about 60% fat by weight, and DHA makes up an average of 15-20% to of all of that fat in our brain. It is the primarily structural component of the human brain, cerebral cortex, skin, sperm, testicles, and retina. According to the World Health Organization, 0.5 to 0.6% of the total energy in our diet should be coming from alpha linolenic acid per day. So this corresponds with the prevention of deficiency symptoms. So this means that on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, 1.1 grams of ALA would be the minimum to prevent deficiency. So if you are following a fairly strict vegetarian or vegan diet, it may be especially difficult for you to get EPA and DHA directly from your food. So for this reason, 1.8% of energy or 4 grams on a 2,000 calorie day diet is suggested just because it takes a little bit more ALA to convert to EPA and DHA if you're not getting um, these other fatty acids in your diet. Here are some choices that can help you reach that 4 gram level. So flax seeds, very rich source of ALA. Just 2 tablespoons will give you 3.19 grams. Walnuts, a quarter cup will give you about 2.72. Some tofu, 8 ounces, 1.32 grams. Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, they have some, not as much as uh, the top 3 here, but Still, make sure you include uh, some foods like this. So we'll go over some dietary sources. Excellent sources include what we just mentioned, flax seeds and walnuts. Very good sources include cauliflower, brussels sprouts, and mustard seeds. And good sources include a wide variety of vegetables, collard and turnip greens, spinach, kale, green beans, romaine, uh, summer squash, and winter squash. Legumes and foods made from legumes, such as soybeans, tofu, miso, and fruits, strawberries, and raspberries, in very small quantities. 
Since omega-3 fats are delicate and susceptible to damage from oxygen containing molecules, our need for dietary antioxidants becomes greater as our intake of polyunsaturated fats goes up. So especially important is increasing your intake of vitamin E. Also, our bodies cannot do an effective job of converting ALA to EPA and DHA without a satisfactory supply of certain nutrients. These nutrients include vitamin B3, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and the minerals zinc and magnesium. If we are deficient in one or more of these nutrients, our bodies may not be able to provide us with optimal amounts of EPA and DHA, even when our ALA intake is sufficient. Like I mentioned, omega-3 fatty acids are very susceptible to free radical damage. Oxidation of omega-3 fats limits their shelf life and their ability to provide you with the nourishment you need. So damage to omega-3s in your food can be caused by light, oxygen, and heat. So for this reason, foods that are rich in omega-3s should usually be stored in your fridge in a sealed container. And this rule still applies to plant foods like nuts and seeds. So with small seeds like flax seeds and chia seeds, it can be a little difficult to, to chew them and to open up the availability of their ALA. So for this reason, many people choose to grind their own seeds, um, for instance like in a coffee grinder or in a magic bullet uh, food processor, prior to eating just to open up the bioavailability of those omega-3 fats. So if you do decide to grind your own seeds, then their shelf life is reduced and so it does become especially important to store them in a sealed opaque container in your fridge. Pre-ground flax seeds will last for like 6 to 16 weeks before going bad. By comparison, whole flax seeds will last 6 to 12 months when stored properly. So you may choose to, to store them in the fridge in their whole form and then right before you're planning on eating them to grind them up then just so you can have the longest shelf life and the full nutritional integrity of that food.